pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This short video will teach you about some changes to what you should do when a fire alarm sounds on your campus. The fire alarm is designed to sound if there is a fire and allow for everyone to get out of the building safely. We want you to know that all of your school's fire drills will be pre-announced. Your safety is our top priority and the new fire alarm procedures are designed to keep you safe in the event of a fire or in the event of an active threat on campus. The main things to remember about the new fire alarm plans are very simple. Anytime a fire alarm sounds, we want you to look, listen, and then take action. Everyone must take all fire alarms seriously. We want you to always pay attention to your surroundings and report suspicious people, cars, or situations. If you see something, we want you to say something to a responsible adult. Here's what you should do when a fire alarm sounds. Listen carefully for instructions from your school's safety team members teacher, coach, or any adult in charge. If you are not in class, you should proceed to the nearest room where there is a responsible adult and follow their instructions. If you are not in class and you see or smell smoke or an actual fire, you should leave the building immediately and report to a teacher or responsible adult once you are safely outside. When an alarm sounds, there will be several things happening at the same time. They are all designed to keep you safe. First, your teachers will look out the window of the classroom to make sure it is safe for you to go into the hallway. Students, you will begin to move toward the door and remain inside the room until you are told to leave by your teacher. We will look and listen before opening a classroom door and again look up and down the hallway before exiting the classroom into the hall. If at any time a dangerous threat, other than a fire, is seen or announced, we will follow our active threat plan procedures. Leave your book bags and personal items in the room. They slow you down. Remain alert and be aware of your surroundings at all times. Walk quickly, but do not run unless there is an active threat or a fire. If you encounter heavy smoke or fire, look for another safe way out of the building. Call 911 to report your location and the location of the fire. If visibility is low, crawl on your knees and form a human chain and keep in physical contact with the person that's in front of you. Stay close to the wall until you can reach the nearest exit. Your teachers will look out the windows of doors leading to common areas, stairwells, and then outside to make sure it is safe to change hallways, to use the stairs, and if it is safe to go outside. After you go outside, you will go with your teacher to a staging area and stay there until told it is safe to re-enter the building. Here are some important things to remember about fire safety if there is a fire directly outside your room and it is preventing you from leaving. Do not open the door. If you are alone, call 911 to report your location and look for another way to get out of that room. You may place a wet towel or clothing under the door to help prevent smoke and flame from getting inside. If the room has a window opposite the fire, stand near that window for fresh air. Your teacher may even break the window if it becomes necessary. School safety is everyone's responsibility. We need your help to make sure our schools are safe places to learn and have fun. Remember. Every fire alarm and fire drill must be taken seriously. Every time a fire alarm sounds, we want you to do exactly as we have discussed here. Follow your teacher's or other adult's directions. If you see something, say something. 
Thank you for your attention, and let's have a great year. Hey guys, Mr. Wellness here with another Wellness 101. As I mentioned before, the CDC is now recommending that we all wear cloth face masks while in public. Why masks, you ask? Simple cloth face coverings help slow the spread of viruses. Some viruses, like COVID-19, can be transmitted from person to person without ever showing symptoms. But masks will not protect me from you and you from me if we're not wearing them properly. Your cloth mask should include multiple layers to help filter contaminants, but just be sure to allow for breathing without restriction. It needs to fit snugly, but comfortably against the side of your face and cover your mouth and nose, and be secured with ties or ear loops. Remember, a mask is no good to you if your vulnerable areas are exposed. Be sure your hands are clean when you put it on. When removing your mask, remove it from the back to the front. Be careful not to touch your nose, mouth, or eyes, and wash your hands immediately after. Consider hanging your mask someplace sunny as sunlight is a natural disinfectant. To clean and sterilize your mask, your old buddy Mr. Washing Machine should do the trick. Masks should be washed routinely depending on the frequency of use. Bonus tip! Glasses keep fogging up on you when you wear your mask? Then before you put your mask on, try cleaning them with soapy water. Shake off the excess water and soap and lightly pat them dry with a soft tissue. The soapy water leaves a thin film behind that should help keep your specks from fogging. Wear those masks in public, folks. And remember, my friends, wearing a mask does not make you immune to coronavirus COVID-19 or other illnesses. You still need to practice good hand hygiene and proper social distancing techniques to avoid illness. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Wellness 101.